broader focus on psychology as well? Is that your field you're getting into, or, or medicine, nursing, something like that? Uh, so, for high school here in Germany, we um, we have a system where you have to pick between um, psychology and pedagogics, um, oh. mathematics, um, business, and health and food, so health and food. I took uh, the psychology and uh, uh, pedagogics because a friend of mine went there as well and that's w that's where I had courses in, basic courses in psychology, like I did some Freudian theory, mm -hmm. um, a little bit <laughs> of um, how to activate resources in people with mental illness, that, so, that sort of thing. Interesting. And that's, by the end of high school, you got to kind of choose something you want to experience to, to see if it's your thing. Um, so how it works is, um, after high school, depending on what you took, um, you can then, uh, after 12th grade, either choose to go into a university, mm. uh, take a university degree that is related to that to that um, thing you chose, that topic you chose. So if you took the pedagogics and psychology, you couldn't study higher math mathematics, gotcha. but okay. you would be allowed to study psychology. Okay. Or you have the alternative to do a, a, another year of school, which I did, and also do a um, second language which you need in germany and then you can study whatever you want at university okay interesting yeah i like uh well it, this morning we were kind of i don't know if you saw a general chat it, on, on the on the um laser attic server uh we were talking about public education and that kind of thing i think there's a lot of fantastic reforms that, that could could happen and i like mm -hmm. that idea of helping students understand where their talents lie, wh where their natural inclinations are and, and helping them develop their own idea of refining a specialty. We got, we got to start general and go towards, you're going to have to do something with your life. What are you naturally interested in? Where are your natural talents? And <clears throat> there's a lot of controversy on how to best do that. Should we be administering IQ tests? And if someone comes in under a certain amount, it's like, sorry, you're just never going to be a genius in, in some ways at some level. Like mm. higher education will not benefit you in the way it would benefit someone else. Let's, and, and this is what I say too. There's a, a tremendous lack of respect for people who are genius with their hands, master craftsmen that couldn't do a calculus problem to save their life, but that doesn't mean they're less than a nuclear physicist. It just means, ma'am, you know, a nuclear physicist couldn't whittle a piece of wood into a flute. They just couldn't do it. They don't have that talent, but someone else can, man, making flutes for a living, crafting chairs, building custom furniture. I mean, it's all kinds of great things people could be doing with their hands that are better for them in terms of they enjoy it more. They just need to discover it, you know, and, and, and going to college where they struggle and hate every minute of it. Cause like, I'm just not much of a reader. I just don't process information that way. I'd rather be building something with my hands. I think we mm. need more respect for that path. And then it won't look like we're excluding kids from university. We're saying, no, you want to go to a school where they're going to teach you how to more fully express yourself with your hands. Like you want to, and totally. like you have the natural talent for So I said a lot, go ahead. <laughs> No, it's just, I think, unfortunately, the way the school system is built up, it's completely, like, antithetical to the idea of making sure that you are able to express yourself and, mm. uh, like, build on your strength, where it's yeah. instead completely built upon you becoming conformist yeah. and doing exactly what is asked of you in the exact way that you that is asked of you. <laughs> and I think... I think that this sort of type of schooling is actually what destroys a lot of people. I yeah. per personally, I think I'm one of those people that have really <laughs> suffered under that system. Mm -hmm. um, it also really like takes it takes away your self confidence. Yeah. When you constantly hear that you're not allowed to be yourself, and 
I just wish we would have a school system that would actually like be more like university in a, in a way where you can just go pick the courses that you want to improve in and yeah. not be forced to like do everything at, at like a mediocre level.